Hello everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. So grateful to have you with me today and thankful that you come along to study the Word of God together. I pray that he will bless you as you study. And in fact, let's go to him in prayer and ask him to bless us both as we look into the Word of God again today. Heavenly Father, it's a blessing every day to have your Word, to learn principles that you desire for us to know about you and your kingdom about your son Jesus and your ways that you want us to be in this world. I pray, Lord, that somehow, some way, we will reflect the gospel of Jesus Christ as we study these truths and are empowered by your Holy Spirit to live according to them. We want to bless you, Lord, and we bless you for allowing us to study your word today. Thank you for being with us. In Jesus' name, amen. The title to today's lesson is Renewed in the Spirit of Your Mind. It's taken from the book of Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 23. Since the Ephesian church members heard and were taught by Jesus, Paul the Apostle desired for them to put off their former manner of living, which was corrupt according to the deceitful lust. In chapter 4 and verse 23 of his letter, Paul challenged the Ephesians to be renewed in the spirit of their minds, where we read, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. The verse begins, and be renewed. Paul began with the word and, which means in addition, adding to even, also, and indeed, be renewed or renovated and reformed. The Ephesians needed a new way of thinking, and like the renovation of the dilapidated edifice or automobile, they needed a thorough change and renewal. The verse continues, in the spirit of your mind. Paul added, in the spirit, which means the vital principle by which the body is animated and the disposition or influence which fills and governs the soul of anyone. Of your mind, which refers to the faculties of perceiving and understanding of those feelings, judging, determining spiritual truth. The Ephesians were be, to be renewed in the faculty of perceiving divine things, and they were to recognize goodness and hating of evil. When we consider these words of Paul, we see there is not only a putting away of our previous way of living, but we are also to be transformed by a new way of thinking and acting. Christians are to be different than the world, and those who have obeyed Paul's exhortation have begun to think and act like Jesus. Because many people are watching us as Christians, it is imperative that the spirit of our minds are renewed and altered to be like Jesus. May God Almighty, our Heavenly Father, transform us in our minds until we think, act, and have attitudes like unto Him. Next time, Paul tells the Ephesians to put on the new man. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word. In Jesus' name.